I'm here with Ash at the studios of WPOR with Nick the Intern and John Shannon. The first episode of the Haunt Me season aired yesterday, um, and if you haven't seen that yet, click the link over here in your video, go watch that episode, come back and watch this awesome recap of it, because we're going to talk to these guys about um, the first episode and our upcoming season, and we're going to have a good time because we love WPOR. Ty and Ashley are in with the WPOR morning crew this morning. Ty and Ashley are from Haunt Me. You guys, great ghost hunters. I love watching all the episodes. Last season, you went to a lot of terrific places, including uh, Biddeford Mills, and you went to uh, Main Street Grill in Standish, and you went to the Irish Heritage Center in Portland. I know you have big plans for this year. First episode is all done for Haunt Me, and you went to a place that I never even gave thought of, a library, having been around for so many years being a haunted place. Yeah, but it's a library in Biddeford, and Biddeford seems to be a really spooky city. Yeah, Biddeford has some of the greatest places for us so far. I don't know what it is, but um, it's steeped in legend and folklore, and they keep inviting us back, so um, every time that they do that, we're going to go. We love Biddeford. Uh, and Biddeford has the connection between the library and the mills, which is a, a really haunted place. Yeah. What's the connection between the Biddeford, the MacArthur Library? I know you, you explore this in the episode. Yeah, it was really cool, actually. Um, MacArthur himself had a connection with the mills, which was really interesting to find out because one of our most exciting, for me personally, um, episodes of last year was exploring the Biddeford Mills. It was actually a two-part episode that we did in season one just because we caught so much stuff um, that we couldn't squeeze it all into one episode. Such a big place. There's got to be so many areas to investigate. Oh, the sheer size of it, yes. Yeah, massive. Yeah, you can walk for days in there. I think, we, you know, we were in there two nights in a row, um, and we never stopped walking. <laughs> you know, we didn't see it all. Going through the uh, MacArthur Library in Biddeford, which I, I, I'm sure some people after seeing this episode might be a little creeped out going in there, uh, because you some of the things that you came up with, you've got some new equipment that you're dealing with this year, which is great, thanks to your... Uh, your viewers. Yeah, thank oh. you for everyone who donated to the Kickstarter. Yeah. That was great. Huge help. Uh, and now using this equipment, you had a whole question and answer session with a ghost up above the main cathedral. Oh yeah, yeah, that did happen. Um, we, yeah, we have some new cameras, new audio equipment, so that's come in really handy for this episode and the ones following it. Um, the MacArthur Library, though, I wouldn't say that it's too scary for people to come, go in. Um, we actually previewed this episode there um, last Halloween. And they, you know, everyone that was in there was kind of like, oh, are we okay to be in here? And after you watch the episode, I think you'll see that, you know, I mean, while there might be some stuff in there, it's not too malicious, maybe? I mean... No, there wasn't, there wasn't too much going on in the, in the way of negative energy. Um, it was kind of what I would like to call like a curious haunt. It was interested that we were there. Um, kind of shied away up into the attic and it wasn't until we pushed through and went into a space that no one really goes to and kind of disturbed, I guess, maybe, if Ash would agree with me, their, their safe place, um, that they started to really interact with us. So nothing like the ghost in the Ghostbusters library. <laughs> no, but we were waiting for that all night. We were hoping. I would have loved it if a librarian came up and told me this. Shh. <laughs> so good. Uh, so what's coming up for the rest of the season? I know you've got some great places. I'm looking forward to the Portland Masonic Lodge. Yes. Yes, that was an incredible honor to be invited into a place that's so steeped in um, secrets and stuff like that. That was yeah. really cool. Yeah, I mean, for that one, we weren't even allowed to go off on our own. We had to wander around with Mason chaperones. So um, we were very lucky to even be there at all. So that's a really cool episode. We also got to go to Fort Knox um, up in Bucksport. That was amazing. Um, really cool place, really historical and really creepy. <laughs> yeah, to say the least, you really know, creepy. You don't always get to go to a haunted state park. I mean, Sebago Lake State Park, not so haunted. No, no. Fort Knox State Park, yeah, maybe so. Yeah. It was just, there was two elements there for us. Um, one, it was the furthest away that we've ever been. And two, it was um, just, as soon as the sun went down, you realize that we're in a place that you're not supposed to be in after the sun goes down. <laughs> so, these places I would visit definitely during the daytime. As soon as it started getting dark, I'd be like, nope, out of here, screw that. And that's kind of what I was thinking when the light started to wane through the windows. I was like, this is a huge mistake. <laughs> <laughs> Ty and Ashley are from Haunt Me, which is haunt-me.com if you want to check out the website. What do you think coming up for the rest of the second season uh, is probably the highlight of the season for each of you? 
you want to go? Yeah. Well, one of my favorite um, moments this season, we got to go to this house in South Portland. It used to be a dorm for SMCC. Before that, it was a brothel. It was a home for elderly women. It's had a bunch of different... At the same time? Oh, <laughs> wouldn't that be weird? Okay. No, um, it, it's had a lot of different identities, and it's kind of like the house in the first season of American Horror Story. It reminded me of oh. that. So that was my favorite. It was very puzzling, very weird, and a real challenge for us. And um, there was a house in Vassalboro that was a, a really great location for me. Um, me and another investigator, um, Katie, felt like we had this really strange connection to this house. Um, after we left the Vassalboro um, mill agent's house, we couldn't stop thinking about it. You know, it was just an incredible night there. We had some really cool um, evidence that we captured among both teams separated from each other that was concurrent and we both thought it was the other teams making noise and making you know sound contamination happen. And it wasn't until we reviewed our, our video that we realized that we were on opposite ends of the house and we weren't within sound capabilities of each other. It was such a cool night. We had great stuff going on there. Season uh, by season, you guys are having more and more fun and getting into better and better places. And thanks to your Kickstarter campaign, having better and better equipment. So if you love last season uh, of Haunt Me, this season, even better, haunt-emmy.com. Uh, Ty and Ashley, thanks for coming in. Thanks for the preview of the season. Thanks for creeping me out. Absolutely. <laughs>